tonight. An unfolding catastrophe in Asheville, North Carolina. Homes and buildings swept away by raging floodwaters that have submerged the town. It's beyond anything I've ever seen in my lifetime. Parts hurt. of the town not underwater, completely cut off. Somebody on a Facebook post said something about having to fly out of Asheville because you can't drive out of Asheville. Wow. That extreme. Yeah. No power, no cell service. Crowds formed outside this hotel, one of the only places in town with working Wi-Fi. 6,300 National Guard troops racing to get aid to those in need, along with an army of volunteers. The death toll skyrocketing. At least 166 people killed across six states and hundreds of people still missing. Wow. And back here in North Carolina, dramatic dashboard camera footage Whoa. capturing this moment that a couple narrowly missed being oh. swept up in a landslide in the Blue Ridge Mountain. I didn't know this many people died. No, bro. I didn't know it was that I deep. I knew, I knew. Bro. But my question this is like, bad. how the water like continue to pour and a dramatic. Much? Was it like a dam oh affected or something? No, uh, and it's North, the Carolina, mountain. North Carolina is on the on the water. Bro, this is the mountains that's getting impacted. This is the Appalachians. Like, bro, like when you drive through the Appalachian, you can see all the rocks and stuff that usually fall. But like seeing this, like that's crazy. Like to really I imagine that, that, where, uh, that all these people have died. That that's a so lot of water. Insane. And then we just sent billions to Ukraine, but we don't have money for our own 750? people. Seven fifty? What they send to Maui? Was it seven fifty? Was it? Well, it was like, like five hundred or something. They didn't give my, them nothing. My either. question was, what 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 type of hurricane was this? Was a level like a, a, like a cat category? Five. It was a cat. I thought it was a cat three. That's what I was told at first, bro. Whatever for that guys, to expand, that they had a seven hundred dollar payment. But I mean, it, it's twenty billion dollars in total that they used for Maui. This at is... the end of the day, I'm pretty sure now I ain't gonna say they sent somebody a tree. Dollars, but uh, Ukraine got damn near it's close to a trillion. Nah, a trillion? I think Israel got the most like 210. Ukraine B. got the most. I seen it earlier today, really. Yeah, trillion? Somebody, they almost touched, they touched almost a trillion. They have not That's touched that much wrong. money, bro. It's over a hundred billion. I'm about to ask, nah. Gro I'm about to ask Grok on X. It had to be at over a hundred. Yeah, that'll tell you an unbiased one. That's why, that's why I use that. That's only I. AI will use this grok. It says we sent him over 175 billion. Oh, he was right. Since 2022. It wasn't a trillion, but at least 100 billion. Yeah, for sure. 175 billion? Well, that's not that much, right? That's that's a lot. Nice. Playing, but <laughs> I think that's bigger than any company right now. Oh, right, let's continue. Oh, it's, it, it, right here it says to date we've sent them over 55.7 billion, but this here says total All since together. 2022, 175 billion in various forms. Loved ones waiting, not sure if their loved ones are okay, and they can't contact them because there's no vacations. And his homes and businesses have washed away in an instant. I want them to know we're not leaving until the job is done. Many more folks displaced with no idea when they'll be able to be returned to the home, if ever, if there's a home to return to. So we're keeping, our, we're keeping them all in our prayers and all the lives lost. And those particularly unaccounted for, there's nothing like wondering, is my husband, wife, son, daughter, mother, father alive? No shit, And many Joe. more who remain without electricity, water, food, and communications. No and shit. homes and businesses have washed away <laughs> in an instant. I want them to know. We're not leaving until the job is done. Wow. I also want you to know, I'm committed to traveling to the impacted areas as soon as possible, but I've been oh, told that it would be disruptive if I did it right now. We will not do that at the risk of diverting or delaying any, any of the response assets needed to deal with this crisis. My first responsibility is to get all the help needed to those impacted areas. <laughs> and I expect to be there. <coughs> Excuse me, I have cool. He, he, Expect to be there later this week. This Get him. Oh, he got, he got a couple of days. He got a couple of days. This sucks. This is sad. He's finna nah, go back to the once beach. Once he's done, he's gonna be in until he gets sworn in in January. He's got a few more sad. months. He sucks. <sighs> I can't trust anybody that's affiliated with him. Joe Biden. He's an inca uh, incapable old man. Barack Obama. Our country is hurting. He can't even give a, a, a fluent speech. <laughs> I got a cold. It's a photo op. need to talk about what that does in terms of helping the people. Trying to build an opportunity zone. So in terms of... I want to acknowledge and thank the first responders who have been extraordinary. Uh, having met with them, they are the kind of folks that are the heroes in moments of crisis. 
who do extraordinary work that is about lifting up other people as it relates in particular to the leaders who are here and doing that work including the first responders most of them as it relates to the local folks are folks who have personally and their families have personally experienced loss and devastation and yet they leave their home leave their family to go to centers like where I was earlier to do the work of helping perfect strangers I actually feel like I can She's do that just job. like so not authentic. It's all right, guys. It's just the truth. These houses are torn. I mean, the rain came in. 160 houses people down. to 200 people. People are in shelters. Well, no shit. My question is how this much water came from a hurricane, bro? I don't know, bro, but don't hit us with no conspiracy theories. Hey, MTG I, said it already. Hey, man, she I, said it's a lazy look, man. I'm on the right, you know, but sometimes <laughs> it, it, hey, it's for it real, go a little it's, too far, you but, know. But it's crazy, bro. Like, imagine that, bro. We got hit by three hurricanes. We never seen that much water there travel a lot that of water. high. We've never been uh, anywhere that's close to that close to the water. But I mean, they, what got hit wasn't close to the water. Water though, but well, it's hurricane season. Tennessee got hit up. Water. Tennessee and Georgia got hit up. You know where Augusta is? But doesn't isn't Augusta close to some? Bro, sort of but water? do you know what a hurricane is? Like, come on. All these places <laughs> it, you just it, named it, are close it, to water. The, the rain Tennessee, travels Tennessee through the is, states. Tennessee and North Carolina is fully impacted. Well, a hurricane can tra- uh, travel a, far, uh, but, a pretty far, brother. But that much rain, bro. That is a, for, that is, that's a lot. lot of rain. Bro. That is a lot and of rain. That that's why I'm though. trying. I'm I'm, that's why I'm completely confused. Because about. I'm, I'm gonna keep it in the mountains. If Galveston gets a bad hurricane, Look, Georgia's by water. Houston's affected, but Dallas isn't affected. So bro, basically, all of this is effed yeah, up right yeah, here. That is pretty that's far. That's a problem. That is pretty far. But I mean, hey, man, it maybe went it was through, a strong it, hurricane. The, the hurricane came from right here and went up. Damn. That's what I, I'm just, trying to. That's I just hard for me, y'all. You know, that's a lot of water. Hey, you know, I just seen a lot, but I, I just ain't seen enough we to say they control in the weather. Three. Let's continue yeah, though. Stop, Not right? me either. I yeah. just seen a lot. I believe a lot with the weather control and then just, nah, ooh, I just feel like it's a stretch, guy. But that's you know, you don't think they could control the weather? I don't no. know. I, we seen a video where they put particles in the sky for it can rain. We seen a video. Hey, look, said hey, that. I don't know. That's one of them. I'm not gonna say yes or no. Uh, no. I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I don't know. Hey. The president and I um, have been paying close attention from the beginning to um, what we need to do to make sure the federal resources hit the ground as quickly as possible. And the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750 for folks who need immediate needs being met, such as food, baby formula, and the like. (laughs) Why is she looking down? Why she can't say that shit? Looking at like, she knows she couldn't say seven fifty, and them immigrants getting about two bands, almost ten bands a month. That's crazy. It's kind of hard. It's it's kind of hard. How much are they? Six hundred fifty million dollars on illegals. Homes, hospitals, highways, and cars have been plunged underwater. Entire neighborhoods have been turned into lakes. Nobody's seen anything like it, and to every family that's been displaced here in Georgia and North Carolina, who's, which has really been hit, we were going there also, and uh, they don't have communication, they don't have anything right now. That they're, we're trying to, I just spoke to Elon, I'm getting him, I want to, we want to get Starlink hooked up because they have no communication whatsoever, oh, and Elon... Elon will always come through. Hey, we know that. Secretary Alejandro Mayork is sounding the alarm on wow, FEMA bad. funding right after the devastation of Hurricane Helene. Listen. That's what I'm saying, bro. This we are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. Hey man, this all on. comes as the Biden-Harris administration man, spent over high, a bro. billion dollars from a FEMA program on services for migrants. Wow. You know, they didn't even get that, that to Maui. That, that should make everyone pretty yeah. upset. Oh, hey, everybody forgot about Maui, too. Dude, they swept that under the rug after like a week or two. So it's There's just a like, lot of things that I'm money sorry, could go in towards. This just looked like a big-ass... F you, we finna extort y'all for y'all tax dollars and yeah. benefit for everybody else. But when shit happens to y'all, y'all just gotta take that lick, man. Y'all Americans, yeah, y'all bro. Americans. So yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all go through hard shit. Uh, I want to ask you about 
Um, what you've seen from FEMA on the ground, and I know that Americans are helping out right now, but uh, is FEMA it's leading the effort? Right are you seeing them on the ground That's delivering aid, or is this on the backs of That's the American crazy. citizenry? Uh, no, actually, the American people are the ones who are leading the efforts. Um, and so it, it, you, you can see it's now crazy. that there is a tremendous amount of people that's, that's just stepped up. Spoke. I've heard from others who said that they haven't heard that's or that's seen FEMA. Yeah. And so that's become a bit of that's a problem in some of the other areas which has only got helicopter wow. accessibility, wow. Um, rotary wing streets. only, it makes it even more difficult. Our and again, I, I want to apologize water, for the background noise there. Saying we've been planning to refuel. We're going to try and go back up and go out. But, um, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen FEMA the entire time, and I've talked to many of the fire departments, of and they've had very little communication with them as well. Wow. Well, maybe this FEMA should be less concerned about DEI, which is the number one priority of FEMA, <laughs> and more concerned about delivering aid during crises like what's going on hey, in Sean. They said people haven't even heard from FEMA and American people are leading the charge on relief. That is a problem. Hey, Amen, brother. That this is, is sad. This is absolutely insane. This shows how corrupt our, our actual government is. I, I, I'm just, I just have to say, like, if you're voting, you need to let this go into your opinion. We need oh, leaders yeah. who are not going to allocate all the f emergency funds to, to things like migrants. I think I think we need to elect leaders that are going to put the American people first. And I don't think anybody who's a part of this current administration should be taken serious on that front. But you got, you know, we also got to look at it in this aspect. There's people that want to see America gone. That's on the other party too, but they yeah. said they wanted to fight for democracy yeah, at the I, same time. They, it's if, weird, if, bro. If, if I don't, they, I don't, I don't know. Just how continue, man. That would be beneficial, though. <laughs> what do the states in the storm zone need, Mr. President? Okay. What do the states in the storm zone? What do they need after what you saw today? Oh, in the storm zone. Yes, sir. I'm wondering what storm you're talking about. The, uh, they're getting everything they need, and uh, they're very happy across the board. He said, I didn't know what storm you were talking about. They're getting everything they need. They're happy. Wow. What storm are you talking about? Wow. Why? That's our freaking president. That's uh, why I kept saying, if he wasn't able to finish the goddamn race, why is this man in office? Why was no impeachment paper to get this man gone? Y'all left him in there, and y'all see what happened now, bro. More wars. It's just, uh, it's just. Earlier today, the International Association of Firefighters voted not to endorse any candidate. That's seen as a blow to Harris just weeks after the Teamsters Union did the same. You know Firefighters this? refused to endorse her. Damn. Nobody serious wants to endorse her, but she keeps rolling out more celebrity endorsements as if any logical thinking person gives a damn about celebrity endorsements. Bro, this they call this... Kamala's Katrina. Sean, right now there are 157 this hotels bad, in New York bro. City that are completely full of illegal immigrants. Let me let me just repeat that number. 150 hotels in New York City that are completely full of illegal immigrants. New York City alone spends over a billion dollars a year on illegal immigrants. And then you see these pictures of husbands and wives and children who have lost everything. Their homes have floated down rivers. Their homes have been taken out by Whoa. mudslides. Their vehicles are gone. Wow. Their picture albums are destroyed. Mountain. Every crazy. sentimental value that they could ever possibly imagine is is gone. You know, will, will never be brought back. And what does Kamala do? She comes out and offers seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven hundred and fifty. The TV in the person's house One costs more payment, than seven hundred and fifty dollars, and you see the the absolute destruction. Wow. Sean, of all the political things that I've seen in the last decade. This is the one that bothers me the most, hands down, by far. We have spent $200 billion sending money over to Ukraine and Russia to see young, innocent 21-year-old kids in dirty trenches pop around corners and shoot each other in the face with AK-47s. You watch these videos on YouTube. The lives are expunged in, in a this matter of seconds. $200 billion America wow. has sent over there. That's Yet we can't take insane. care of our own in Georgia and North Carolina and Virginia and Florida. $750. We send billions to places like Pakistan. And they won't tell us that bin Laden is literally living next to their equivalent of West Point. Yet we offer devastated families, the very people you're showing on the screen right now. You, we offer devastated families $750. Sean, this is the worst administration in the history of the country. These aren't agree. serious people. Frankly, I think they're cruel people. The way they put Americans Whoa. last is absolutely cruel. 
And I hope every single person going to the polls on November 5th and before in early voting will remember exactly who these people are. We will. My That's brother insane. had to evacuate Tampa. I forgot about that. I That's need to insane. call him actually. Mm. You know, I look bad in Tampa right there. You know what's crazy, bro? I'm sorry, y'all. I might be a conspiracy theorist, but that's a lot of water, bro. <laughs> that is a lot of water. That's a lot of water to do that, but like, whoa. You telling me it rained yeah, that no, bad? It's some more clips. It's some clips it rained, bro. You didn't see the casket in the river. Oh, y'all didn't see the casket yeah, in is, the water. They got caskets floating out, out on the water, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. Sean, this is the gravest betrayal of American right. citizens yeah. this country has ever. Sean, this wow. is the gravest betrayal of American citizens this country has ever seen. The reason why those Americans in North Carolina, those mothers, those fathers, those precious little children, were left to die, were left on rooftops begging, begging their government for help that never came, is because Kamala Harris turned FEMA into an illegal alien resettlement agency. Its manpower, its dollars, its resources, its mental energy was spent over the last four years learning how to do one thing, how to get illegal aliens from outside the country into your town. And so when disaster struck, they were not ready, they were not prepared, they were not capable, and they did not care. And our fellow citizens, including babies, children, young kids were left to suffer and drown. They did not scramble the helicopters. They did not scramble the military. They did not send needed assistance. But if those children had been living in a foreign country, they've been living in Haiti, or they've been living in Venezuela, why then Kamala Harris would have sent in help immediately. A betrayal like we've never seen before, Sean. This is infuriating. Wow, wow, man. Wow. No, this is bad, bad, bad. I, I honestly didn't know how bad it was. No, Me I didn't either. either. That was no, insane. Really that was actually I didn't know like, that many people died either. No, nah, facts. Really those, that, those, the, just the video footage of the wreckage and the, the water, bro. The that's water what, is like, it's, it's just appalling. That's what I'm saying. Y'all think a Category 3 did that? A cat- like, I don't know, man. Like, that's like, I don't you know, have all the details. I just, I just saw Hurricane. I didn't know. Bro, that shit was bad. I was seeing too many videos. That's what messed me up. They're actually, like, that's a lot of water, bro. This is a shit time. When you hear the government okay. saying they ran out of money, that's they're going to need more money, level, bro. and that they gave it away to that's all of these migrants up. that came here, they came here against the law. How does that make you feel as an American citizen? Extremely angry. They're putting other people before their own. I mean, it's... I feel nah. betrayed. Um, I feel like... We're not worth it to them. Yeah, they're done. That was real. Yeah, they're done. That was crazy. Yeah, they're he done. Said he feels like we're not worth it. Yeah, they're done. I'm just confused, bro. This guy's a freaking dick. The shit. man. Yeah, he's a problem. That caused though. it all. One of the men. FEMA is tremendously prepared. This is what we do. This is what they do. And the key here, Rebecca, is also to make sure that the communities who are potentially impacted are prepared as well. And it's not just hurricanes uh, and fire, like wildfires, also extreme up heat, which certainly some parts of the United States are already experiencing. As Secretary yeah, Alejandro Mayorkas sounding the alarm on. Well, guys, this is this is this is mm-hmm, this is Maui level, man. That was absolutely yeah. insane. This is Maui level, guys. That was absolutely insane. So, hold Multiple on. So, states. So you telling me these people will, will dig money out of nowhere and pull it out they behind and send it to Ukraine? Treason. Dang. Somebody said treason. In a way. That's Greg Abbott. Yeah, this is sad, bro. Pay for uh, the people out there. For no, real. facts.